today I'm going to be demonstrating and breaking down my dynamic music system. I created this using Unreal Engine 5 and Wise. Firstly, I will give a demonstration of what my dynamic music system looks like. I will now break down and explain my WISE project. I started by creating a music switch container. This was called Music Switch. Inside this, I created numerous music playlist containers. This is so I can have multiple different pieces of music inside the game level. Inside each music playlist, I have multiple music segments, where the different musical ideas slash arrangements are placed. Inside each music playlist container, I have it set to random continuous. This allows for a different arrangement of the music to be selected each time. On certain music segments, I have certain music tracks assigned to random step. This means that this musical element won't play every time, further increasing the variation.
The way in which the music transitions from one playlist to another is configured in the transitions segment. For the purposes of this video, I am only using the any to any transition, which is set to change at the next bar. For real projects, more time would be invested to fine tune transitions between specific music playlists. In order to switch between the different music playlist containers, I have set up a standard switch container. As you can see, I created different switches and assigned them to its corresponding music title slash name. In order to trigger the music, the music switch container was added to my event, named Play Music. In order to get this music into Unreal 5, I am using the event-based packaging system, instead of standard sound bank generation. In order to trigger the music inside the game level, I started by creating a blueprint actor called Music Switch. Inside this, I attached a couple of components, such as a trigger box, as well as some text to signify what music will be triggered. I then created numerous blueprint actors as children of the Music Switch, making Music Switch the parent. This means that the components slash settings I set up before will be inherited in the children. This made it quicker than creating numerous blueprint actors from scratch. Inside each blueprint actor, I used the on begin overlap and end overlap nodes. On begin overlap, the RTPC value is changed to the value of the specific music playlist. On end overlap, the RTPC value is changed back to no music. Inside of the level blueprint, on the event begin play node, I have it set up to set the RTPC value to no music before playing the play music event. Thank you for listening and I'll see you again in the next video.